Hello and welcome to episode 81 of my Iron Man series. Starting it off with a quick master clue and then we're going to jump straight into the magic fang hunt at Zora and see how that's going on. I can't play the audio because I was listening to music at the time but I had the shaman nicely safe spotted and then my friend decided to bring the other one over to me because he's a complete dick and uh, yeah, I got one tapped. Alright, scuff equal stuff, yeah. I've I've been yet to have that prove true for me. I've had a lot of scuffed, yeah. not a lot of stuffed. I know the the deck scroll I got on my main was scuffed. I got stuff. Dude, sixty nine next. I'll be honest. Hey, it was a sub twenty though. A sub thirty. <laughs> we had three deaths and it was a sub thirty. Okay, so I just died at Zora and collected my things. And uh, the very astute of you will have noticed that my Dragonfly Shield has no charges. I didn't keep it uh, when I died. It means it loses all of its charges. And if it loses all of its charges, it loses all of its use. <laughs> it kind of becomes mega trash when it has no charges in it. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, it still has the same magic bonus, I think. But it also has horrific range defense. Alright, I only got 6.6k. I think I only have... Yeah, so this is going to be another few charges to add, but still nowhere near full. Uh, pff, I don't know how many I can add. There you go. Uh, so how many am I up to now? 21 charges, so nearly half full. Uh, I'm going to have to do... A... I got a maze random, by the way. I'm going to have to do a bit of googling and figure out what is a good way to get Numalite, because... I still want to use that for my, um, for like Wyvern tasks and things, so I'd rather have it have the defenses. This Christ. If you look at, like, from up here, I thought I got the magic fang. Like, if you look at that, but it's just a dragon stone. Cool. That is 700 KC. I'm thinking, gonna try and get myself the magic fang. Uh, I looked at the points, it's basically like just getting myself the, sorry, the Magic Fang, the Mage's Book. It's basically like getting myself the uh, Master Wand again, which wasn't too bad. Uh, which will be 98, yeah, there we go, 98 Magic, I think. Yeah, one level to go till 99, that's, that's really exciting, that is. I have been working on the uh, Mage's Book. I don't think it's really worth getting, but... Like, it's one of those things that once I've got it, I don't have to do it again, and it's it's just a nice little thing to have, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm making my way a decent amount of the way there. Uh, pro, I'd say over halfway at this point. And there we go, just finished the graveyard points. As far as I'm aware anyway, I think I only need 500 graveyard, which leaves I need to get 500 telekinetic, which I'm actually getting pretty damn close to, and... Uh, then 550 alchemist which is probably going to be the worst um but yeah also i forgot to mention this and i didn't record it at the time but i got 86 prayer and i also got 91 woodcutting but neither of them are really that big so i guess it doesn't matter that much that is the telekinetic room finished i think i'm on about uh 350 alchemy points yeah so 200 alchemy points to go well, that's a little annoying. Uh, so I'm up to 520 points. I need 30 more. And also I'm just gonna... I... Oh, yeah, there you go. I, uh, I've i been completely zoned out, and apparently I've been doing this for over 5 hours. Or around about 5 hours. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying. 550 points. Oh, that's beautiful to look at, that is. There we go. I need to grab a screenshot. Right, let's go and get the uh, the Mages book. I, I, I'll be honest, like, this is a better interface, but I miss the old one. I really liked the old interface. But yeah, 500 Telekinetic, 500 Graveyard, 550 Alchemist, and 6,000 Enchantment. One Mages book. Oh... Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, that's, I think this might be like the first time I've ever had a mage's book. Also, as you can see, I brought myself some mage gear, uh, obviously just going to wear the, uh, 
the progress hat. But yeah, that is pretty nice to look at. Is that a double red drop table? Alright, I just got six hour logged because I am a nerd and it reminded me that there's the, uh, they brought these things out. I didn't play very much Twisted League at all. Uh, I got the silver trophy apparently. Wait, there's an emote? Hang on, what? Trophy emote. Like, I, I wanted to get the either the walls or the horns. I didn't, like, that's all I really cared about. Yeah. Uh, Forgot that this would happen, but I just got 98 Slayer from completing this Barrows task. I also got a uh, Torex Hammers, didn't bother recording it. But hopefully we get something to celebrate 98 Slayer? No. Apparently the one that I got in the last episode wasn't enough, and... Yeah, I got myself another Abyssal Head, which at this point it is just now useless. I'm 90% sure. Alright, it's Hydra time. I got a elite clue when I went to Zora earlier today and come into Hydra for my uh, first task back here for a while and I just got myself another so I guess uh, I'll go and finish off the elite clue that is at Watson uh, before I come back here probably. I might do the master, yeah, we'll see how I feel. Completed the master and I got my magic gear out because I'm calling that I'm gonna get an occult kit. So uh, yep, yeah, that's just, that's not an occult kit. That is a jungle demon mask. I guess that's what happens if, when I forget to <laughs> get a hat out of the bank. Okay. I completely forgot how close I was to a level and I, while doing this Aspori kill, just got a 97 defense. Uh, so yeah, 97 defense. Forgot that that was coming up. Couldn't decide if I wanted to do this or not because I really like having big stacks of herbs in my bank. But I've decided the XP is probably worth it. And there we go. First level. I don't know how many I'm actually going to get with the, with what I have. Uh, I might get 93. Probably won't get any higher than 93. Alright, so I've been doing farm runs and making potions all day, so I think I'm going to take a quick break and address something, which is these, the red spider's eggs. I have, where are they? Yeah, 1500 snapdragon potions and only 100 red spider's eggs. But I think what I'm going to do instead is, well, instead of Tower of Life, I'm going to do Serachnus because uh, Clue Scrolls. Also, it's got a pet and it's not the best pet, but you know, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I think I already have an elite at Watson, and then obviously I have this elite as well, so I'll go try and make a master. Well, that was fun while it lasted. That is the first master not going to happen, because I need an armadillo helmet, right? Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. All right, here is the new clue. Hopefully it's not Sherlock myth skill. That's doable. Oh dear, I'm getting flashbacks. Step two of the clue. Oh no, step three. Okay, so well, it's not going to be Armadale Helm then. It's all good. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, that's so... F mm -mm. Why? Well, that's beautiful. That is what we are here for. The full egg sack. I didn't realize that you got that along with another... I assumed that that was just the drop you get, but apparently... It's a uh, tertiary drop, is that what they're called? I don't know. I guess that makes sense. You do need to like cut it open. Oh, bloody hell. It just fills my inventory. Empty it. Okay, awesome. So I should have... Yeah. So yeah, you get 100 in those, I think. Yeah, 1387. Which is pretty nice. So I only need to get like 15 or so. And the very next kill, getting myself my first elite scroll as well. All right, Watson, I have some clues for you. Let's make this uh, master clue actually uh, dual, please. We actually managed to get a, uh, a casket. Hopefully, it's going to be worth all of the ones that I wasn't able to open. Uh, let's see. Last kill, I got a new PB. Uh, here at Zora, 1 minute 1 second. My previous best was 1 minute uh, 4 seconds. So it's not a massive increase, but new PB is always nice to see. Uh, and yeah, I think a sub 1 minute would be doable. So what I'm thinking is I will go 
try and get myself a Zenite, but I also don't want to skip my task, so I'm just going to be going and doing Void. But I've just realized that since I got 92, I'm now in a situation where I can plus 5 boost to make Divine Super Combats. Got the boost, and I have 18 Divine Super Combats. I uh, didn't, well, I made, I turned the rest of my shards into these two. I could have made more of these, but I felt like 18 was enough for the moment, and in one level I can just use a botanical pie and I don't have to worry with these anymore, so I thought it was, probably wasn't worth... Wait, what the hell? What's the chance of getting an elite clue score from these guys? That can't be that common, surely. Alright, I always try my best to not complain about drops, especially when they're not even on the same table, but dude, I have been getting so many seed drops, but yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can turn this into a master. Oh no, this clue's been going so well. How many steps in are we? Only four. Not as many as I thought, but yeah. Please, Phalo, just anything but the Armadale Helm. I don't even care if it's something I can't do as long as it's not the Armadale Helm. No, it's a DSM. I can do that. Nice. Hey, it happened. We got another master casket. Let's see what we're going to get in this one. I'm going to hide the value. Oh, okay. That is 300 Hydra KC. Yeah, just doing some Zolkino, and on this kill count, I managed to get the MVP, and someone else took the pet roll. I don't know if MVP actually affects the pet roll in any way, but I gotta say, it stings a little bit. Just, it, just a little bit. 100 KC. Give me something good. That's, you know what? What is it, Goldor? I'm definitely not gonna complain about Goldor. The main reason I came here was for the uh, crystal shards, which I've got quite a few of. 60, uh, apparently I only got 65 in the, I don't know. So yeah, it's more, more or less two per kill. But yeah, it's also a lot of um, bars and everything. I might go smash out a smithing level because uh, in one smithing level I don't need to, well I, I still need to boost, but I can just use Dwarven Stouts to make rune dart tips, which is what I want to do with all my rune darts, so there we go, 88. Uh, that means I can now just use a Dwarven Stout to boost up to um, 89 to make a rune dart's little bit of uh, boosting. I've made myself just shy of 7,000. I still have a good amount left and I still have a good amount of these left, but I think that that's probably enough for the moment. Ooh, dang, this is going to be some nice XP though, look at that. Oh, that is a, a lot of rune darts. That is quite nice to see. Also, I was getting like 1.3 million fledging XP an hour. So, like, that's crazy. I've, I don't think I've ever actually done a large amount of rune darts before. All right, I finished putting all of my... Uh... I finished putting all of these together on the side. I'm going to decant these because the other ones are going to take a bit more time to do. Uh, apart from the bruise, I suppose I could smash out the bruise, but either way... I just wanted to see how many of these I got. Blimey. They are some big numbers right there. Uh, basically another thousand magic potions to add. So we're almost on 2500 magic potions. I don't think I'm ever going to use that many. Uh, another... Oh, that is... Uh, that's, a ni that's nice to see, that is. And then super, super strengths and super defenses. I don't really care about, but they're nice numbers to add on. But uh, they're not going to be anything compared to the amount of super attacks I'm going to have. <laughs> I just thought about something. I want a few more vials in my bank. <laughs> I didn't expect that to cost 200k. Bloody hell, but there's an extra 50. <laughs> I don't need this many vials. I think the Celestra Seed's super rare, right? Also a hard clue. Uh, oh well. I'm not going to complain about it. It's a fairly useful seed, I guess. I didn't want to do Alchemical Hydra anymore. So I just went and killed some of the little guys, and I was meleeing them because it doesn't use up scales or anything. Uh, and then I thought, hang on, you think you can... Like, how, how good is meleeing the actual boss? So I looked into it, and it seems decent, but there's also, like, with the guide that I found, because I just wanted a really quick guide, and... Uh, 
a guy called Wellesley uploaded one, which is literally three minutes long, shows you everything you need. Uh, I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, I think I'm probably going to stick with the, with the Dehyde top, though. He uses Bandos top, but uh, I think Mage Defense and like the Prayer Bones might, might be better, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go give it a shot. He skips the uh, fire face, like walking away from the fire, which, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and also apparently it's only this. So he gets like two minute kills, which is what I get at the moment. So I'm gonna go see if this is worth doing. Like, chances are I'm probably gonna just mess it up and die a few times. Uh, but I only have five kills left in my task, so I'm quite happy just to do some experimentation for the last five and see what happens. This, I haven't tried this yet. This is gonna be the first time. Uh, so, knowing me, it's probably not going to go well. But hey, it's worth a shot. There's the three. He says to run over to this side. Right, this is the thing that I'm really interested in. How am I going to get this? Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Tick task, I'm not killing more than three of these. I kind of, I do want the, uh, the shields, but I already have, well, no, I want an Odium shield. I don't care about the mage one, because the mage one looks silly. Also, it's not as good as a, a mage's book. Right, I just got a Grotesque Guardian's task, and I'm trying to think of how many I could kill in a trip. Uh, I think I might just go, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with 10. Because surely 10 can't take too long, right? So, uh... The Gar Grotesque Guardians weren't that bad, so they're, like, they're not, they're just kind of slow and dull. But yeah, um, I just got a Abyssal Demons task. I am kind of torn, because, like, a while ago they updated Sire. Uh, so Sire's a bit nicer to do now. You know what? I feel like I've seen this clip, like, maybe twice before now. Uh, yeah, there is another Abyssal Head, for some reason. And then I also managed to get myself a Abyssal Demon Superior on the last kill of the task, which is always quite nice to see. And, uh, yeah, nothing special, sadly. Since I finished my Hydra task, I got, like, nine very quick and easy tasks in a row. So we're already on the ten task streak again. I was about to go and get another task, but, uh, gonna be heading off to Kona. It's a very, very nice quick and easy task. I uh, used quite a few cannibals though, like a thousand or so. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get another test from Konar, but I have five brimstone keys. Ooh, what are we going to get? A ruby. A staff Jeez, a ruby? Right, so yeah, let's see what we're going to get in these five keys. We can get some fairly decent stuff. Oh, the gold's pretty good. Dragon arrow tips, can't complain about that. And you know. I'm really stupid and normally do the boss, so if I'm barraging them completely wrong, please don't nail me too hard, but... Hey, that's number two. Nice. Yeah, I've still not got the hang of barraging uh, smoke devils, but, like, I it's still crazy XP. Like, with the Bloodveld task before this, which I was getting about, like, 35k XP, Runelight is saying I'm getting about... 51k xp so it's probably like 60k xp an hour that i was getting there i got one task that i didn't want to do i skipped it and we got another smoke devils so <laughs> i've brought along slaughter bracelets this time and i've also reset my xp tracker because i want to see how much xp like this task actually is so i seem to have slightly underestimated how much it actually is uh <laughs> it's about 100k slayer xp an hour and i was on defensive casting so you could probably get well, you would get more than 170. You probably get like 200k magic XP an hour. Ooh, hell yeah. That means it's time to go do some, uh, I forgot what they're called, demonic gorillas. And that is my third, wait, hang on. Is it my third frame? I don't know if it's my sec, I don't know. It's, it's a frame, uh, not really useful. Hey, nice. Uh, turns out that uh, it actually was a light blister that I had, so if I withdraw one of these, I think I can put these together, right? To be honest, I probably should have just left them as separate parts, but because I started it with the light blister, I'm committing.
Hey, there we go. 30 hull XP. But yeah, incomplete heavy ballista. That's got to be pretty rare, surely. Okay, cool. That I needed to do. 1350 kill count, not too bad. Uh, yeah, still... Well, I was about to say still haven't. I didn't get the Zenite. I'm not dry by any means. Uh, I might go back off task because here's something I want to get done and I don't mind doing it so much off task. Um, yeah, I will take a quick break and go see what our next task is going to be though. Also, I got a crazy amount of seeds. I Like, actually insane. Uh, so <laughs> it, I, I, I felt like I was killing... Bloody... no. Alright, this is the end of the video. If you've made it this far in, I hope you enjoyed. And a like and a subscribe would be really appreciated. And if you could tell me what I did well or what I didn't do so well in the comments, that would be massive because uh, I've been doing so many of these and I feel like I've not really got any better at them. So any constructive criticism at all would be amazing. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.